Hey everyone, Andre here, and Nintendo's year in review is finally out, being the thing that shows you how many games, what all you played in the past year, or being 2023. I'm excited to check it out, so let's dive in. Now, keep in mind, I do have two different accounts that I play on, so it may be a bit weird as we go between the accounts, but hey, let's get to it. So first off, we're on my main account here, uh, even though it's not always the one I play the most on, because I buy a lot of games on my Australian one, but here we go. So this is uh, my Andre GX's year in review for 2023. My, my my first game of the year was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is a great start, of course. Hard to go wrong with that. Whoops. You played 38 total, 39 total games with 398 total hours on Switch this year. So that's actually more than I expected. That's quite a quite a few hours, especially on this just one account. And here we can see all the games I played. Yeah, Cruising Blast. You get all the impossible layer. Good to see some awesome representation. F099. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, Tropical Freeze. My most played games this year: Mario Party Superstars is 69 hours, F099 is 61 hours, and Mario Kart Deluxe is 57 hours. So these, are, of course, are the games I stream the most. Um, although I played F099 a ton off stream as well. So yeah, nothing too surprising there. My gaming trends, action 26%, party 21%, is that just Mario Party? Maybe actually everybody wants you a uh, horse as well, if once you switch. Uh, racing 19%, classic games 14%, board games 11%, and shooting 9%. That must be a Splatoon. Uh, your most your most played game, uh, your most played month was November, 53 hours played. That's because I had our charity stream, where I streamed for, uh, what, 6 hours, 7 hours I think? 8 hours maybe? Uh, so yeah, that makes sense. What was your favorite game in 2023? So I can actually choose... <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil our game of the year stuff, so let's go with, uh, you know what, it's going to be hard to top. Uh, let's go with the 64 app. It had a lot of, you know, good games added this year, so we're going to go with the 64 app. There we go. <laughs> Even if uh, that's not my official game of the year. Stay tuned for our video on that. Let's keep going. Download your stats. Alright, so we can download these little social media badges, uh, which is nice. Um, we can actually let's zoom in on them a little bit. And, uh, yeah, alright, you can see... You can see my play history, actually, how it really went up toward the end of the year, um, with, which is interesting. It also peaked around uh, May with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, we had some dull, some light, lighter months in July, June and July, so summer, I guess, I really dipped out. Um, yeah, so this is cool. And, uh, and there we go. Hope you had a lot of fun. So, oh, here we go. Get ready for 2024. Here's a sneak peek at games coming soon. Yes, being all Mario games, Mario and Donkey Kong, uh, Peach of Showtime, and Luigi's Mansion 2. So, cool stuff. Not bad. All right. So, if you want to check out your own stats, use the link in the description below, and it will take you right to your account if you're not signed in, or will once you sign in, and show you your stats. Now, let's go to my other account here, my Australian account. So, let's bring it over. There we go. This is my Australian account. Let's click Get Started. We'll go through this a little bit quicker, just to see how these stats line up. This is the account I put Tears of the Kingdom on, um, I believe. So, I'm actually surprised May was as high as it was in um, for my main account. Alright, so the NC4 app is my main app. That's surprising, actually. Uh, on this account, I played 16 games with 232 hours played, so that added to what, the 500 something from the previous one? 600? So we're at 700, 800, I think. Most played games this year, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom with 137 hours, Pikmin 4 with 31 hours, Mario RPG 18 hours. So here we go, this is definitely um, a little bit more reflective, I think, of what I would have played, you know, um, recreationally rather than just for work. Your gaming trends, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. Your most played month was May, being Tears of the Kingdom. Obviously, we did a whole 12 hour stream of that game. What was your favorite game 2023? Uh, let's, let, let's, let's, let's get Pikmin 4. Actually, no, no, no. We got more RPG here. Let's give it some love here. Again, not necessarily representative of my official Game of the Year thoughts. Here are my stats in this account if you want to check them out for yourself. Um, again, most played, most played month was May, and you can see the rest of the month starting to stack up to that. The beginning of the year is completely dead because, again, these are games I bought on my Australian account to play them. Um, Pre North American release, and uh, it's recommending the same three games. So this is really all Nintendo has for next year at this point. So Switch Two, where is the Switch Two? Why are you listening to Switch Two, Nintendo? We know it's coming. Come on, and, and along with its launch slate of games. So there we go, everyone. That's a quick look at my personal and business <laughs> related uh, top most played games of the year on Nintendo Switch. Again, we'll link to that in the description below. So check out yourself if you like to see what you played and post your stats on social media. With that, everyone, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you later. Bye.